Alright, this is Mofo Sudat, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Creos Micro Changers. It's collection one. So, what these are, these are the ones that can change the robots and vehicles. So, in this series, we have Springer, Inferno, Quick Slinger, Rem, Page, Insectatron, Insectacon, Singe. Um, Hook, Warpath, Dirge, Blastoff, Bludgeon, and Arachnid. And I have all 12 of these figures, so we're going to be looking at these um, one by one. So stay tuned. Alright, so the first one we're going to open up is... This one. The one in the middle here. Um, his name here is Singe, um, but based off his like color scheme, his uh, based off of um, Scorch, the Autobot. You can see here. He has his vest on, he makes it pretty difficult to see the details. And so this is going to be really easy change, so let's go ahead and do that. And I know he, he's an homage to like Singe. Not Singe, what the fuck am I talking about? To um. To um, what's Scorch? Just because um, Singe was like one of those Decepticon um, target masters. And here you see, it's like the Hot Rod-esque Decos, the Autobot symbol. So, so this is the back, the vest. Like, let's see how this one fits in. I don't know what's at the vest. They hide their design, but whatever. So here's the, and it's very different from like Legos, because it's like a peg hole. It's like here's like the tires. But, um, oh shit. And so here's the, um, the old, good old Creo brick. In here, it's like a torch. I guess it, it's plug it looks like it's plugging in right there there we go because this
Okay, let's get see what the hell. <laughs> okay, I'm watching a uh, mad right now on Cartoon Network, and here's um, Singe's face, which is pretty. Nice you know, a visor, a cocky smile, and like a gray. Star screams helmet in gray. It's pretty nice. You just plug. Does it have a no? Nope. You just plug it in right there and bam, singe. All right, so right after well, right after this, we're gonna show the vehicle mode. So stay tuned. All right, so here are the three extra parts for the vehicle mode this in the two wheels and basically for the um, vehicle mode you just flip the chest over the, the vest over so the the red translucent piece just up and you attach everything to make the race car but what I've looked at and I've seen because I was just figuring around with it you don't really need to do that. You can just pop this out and just flip it and then just turn it around. So, well, I haven't actually tried anything with it. I'm just looking at it right now. See if it works. And it will. Because, see, the it attaches to the gray piece. So you don't need the wheels. I can... And see, so when you put them over, you're not gonna see like a face. To keep up with the um the oh robots in disguise theme. Just hide it a little bit more. And now, here you go. So, Singe in his vehicle mode, a uh, racer buggy. So, stay tuned for the rest. Alright, and here is the next one. And it is Inferno. See this, and he actually has all the detail on here, but he only uses this kind of backing. It's not a vest, it's not a full on vest. So. And where's his head? Whoa. So here's his mouth, his head, which is one of the most regular things. And here it is. His helmet. Oh, fucking. Alright, whatever. So the back. Um, so 
So you put it in the center, and then you... Okay, now it looks like you put it right, right here, and then you would attach this one right here, and you attach what looks kind of looks like to be a telescope. And then, like, they always come like this. I don't know why. Why they wouldn't just put it straight. And you put there. Then, in the fucking. Getting the tires on the bottom. And so, for the extra parts, besides the brick, there's two more wheels and his weapon, which to use you have to actually take off his hand and actually attach. Is and you can see uh, there's already a stress mark on it, so don't do this often. And so now, there it is. And now we'll look at the vehicle mode right next. All right. So basically, what you need to do. Yeah. Touch. The wheels. And there, anything? There's actually, nothing that changes besides this. And this will be plugged right down here. And these will move up one time. And this will be attached like so, and he's a fire truck. Yeah. Okay. And here is the next one. Springer. So he's originally a triple changer, but in this he can only turn into the helicopter mode, so. Alright, let's go make some robots! And here's some nice chest details. Still no focus. It's pretty shit. There's an Autobot symbol here, I guess you can. And this, this is what I find interesting you have to keep this on so you can attach the helicopter you can attach it either way so because it looks the same but yeah it'll spin pretty darn well and because he does not have a car mode he does not need tires so that's a plus I'm also watching Resident Evil Afterlife. And here's Springer's face, very grumpy. I don't know why they chose yellow eyes for him though. And that's okay. Nice, nice helmet. This whittle Creo stand. And his two. Swords. But here's just one of them for display. So it's pretty. It's pretty nice. It's a little, let's move on to like helicopter mode. And for like most of these, you can just keep them on the back. They just fold down like this. 
and put this on here for like a tail. And then for this, you, this is why you have, I just have to attach this on here. Then you just put the katanas down here. And then, so, this acts as like the rotor. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty spiffy. And there you have Springer in his helicopter mode. Alright, and here is the next one. It is Warpath. Pretty spiffy here. Little cannon shooting out. Jutting out, I should say. Gonna assemble my feet first. Now, since he is a cannon, or not a cannon, a uh, tank, does not need the wheels. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good. It's like very G1 in the chest. But then you do a silly thing and put a fucking vest over it. So you can add in the big barrow. Barrow. Barrel, 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 and then the tip for the cannon it sticks out a hell of a lot. Then you take in this. I wish they did like something similar to Prime with like the big blue eyes and the mouth plate. And this is a pretty good helmet. Orange is reminiscent of Ironhide. And this is for the vehicle mode. And you just attach these to like the forearms. I guess. And then there you go. There is Warpath. Now to get them to, um, vehicle mode just twist the head and just take the head all the way back get the arms same angle and you put you tilt the legs a little bit then you take out Barrel. You attach it to this so it can become the cannon. And get it all together. And there you go, a little movable cannon fodder. So there's Warpath. Alright, and here is the next one. So this is Quick Slinger, but we all know him as the fifth member of the Aerobot team. Um, Slinger Shot. So this is pretty interesting. So let's put this guy together and look at the chest design. Very nice, very Aerobody with the Autobot symbol right there in the middle, along with some gray. Legs, put them up. And this, this is pretty spiffy. The wings. You can also put a back piece on. 
and the orange face. And also the same as Springer, yellow eyes and grumpy face. So it's the ratchet head helmet. But don't put it down all the way or else you can't see the eyes. Next we'll make the cannon. So put that on. Then plug the actual gun in here to this part. And then you add in this. Suppose you have to add in like that. No, no, it shows it. Like, okay, okay. Forget the directions. Put the fin on first. And then damn gun. And because it's not that firmly on there, it's gonna be whack. So that's same with the gun. Now the aerial bot is pretty simple. Just get the gun out, take the helmet out, then you add in the cone. And then, you have to switch where the freaking goes, you plug it into this part, and you add it back in, so there's space right in between here, and that looks more like a jet. Now you add this one here, you add this one in here, but directions say you don't actually need this right here you can always plug it in right there and there you have the missing aerial bot slingshot right here in all his creole glory and here is the next one And our first Decepticon of the entire batch, the fifth ever Predagon, Predacon member, Rampage. Yeah, so this is pretty nice. Also, besides being the first Decepticon in this pack, he's also the first one with the Beast Mode. So that should be fun, Creo Block. And before I put that damn vest on, look, see, look on the details, you can see... The Sipkansu here, and then the Panther. This is very G1 accurate. It is very... It's too bad you have to cover that up, though. Because of... Ooh, ooh, these feet are painted. It's very nice. Or at least stickered. I think it's stickered. And here you have to apply the vest on point this down head it in it's like a head crotch piece again the same the same orange face really same orange face then you apply the the animal head there's the same head on the Well, he comes with these two guns, but he only, but he also comes with a blade, so, here is Rampage, when we come back, we'll take a look at his beast mode, so, okay, so the beast mode is really simple, just switch the legs, put them down, same thing with the arms, and you twist the head about, make the panther, then you put the guns to both sides, like so.
so you don't even add in the tail because you can't unless you super glue it on here like that otherwise it won't work so 